Can you quack like a duck while you fuck? Can you take every inch up your butt? If so, then you're in the right place. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the East Side Dev Show! And here's your host, Mr. East Side Dave McDonald! Of all of the introductions that you've ever written, that's the worst one. You think okay. so? Oh, God. I liked it. Did you write that while high? Be honest. That was wasted. I could tell. <laughs> See, I could tell that that was a uh, THC-inspired Roy Harder introduction. That made no... What was that about? Uh-oh. Your keyboard's not working? Oh, and others working. Jesus fucking Christ almighty. Are we live? Are we live? Can we get this guy's goddamn keyboard? Oh, it's going to be one of those shows. Hey! There it is. I think that might have been my fault. So How about this? Stop yelling you at Gary. Stop it with the fucking quack like a duck, something shoved up your butt introduction, and turn your fucking Casio on, you piece of garbage. I, I, I can't. Not tonight. Okay, the world is imploding. It is. It, it, it's, uh, I feel like I, it, the walls, the walls are closing in around us. I can't take it anymore. Welcome to the East Side Dave Show, ladies and gentlemen. Another round of applause. Thank you, thank you, I'm Eastside Dave. Now, a man who worked for Hugh Hefner in the 70s says he was pretty brutal to women, treated them as disposable. He says Hugh would have people over to have sex, uh, he usually just watched while smoking pot and eating red licorice. I mean, that's disgusting. Uh, after all, red licorice is a horrible candy, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Like yeah. Do you really? Yeah. What was that introduction, I ask? <laughs> I thought it was well, brilliant. Well, no. The opposite of brilliant. I googled uh, good show intros, and that was the first one that came <laughs> up. <laughs> Let's make a deal. Host Monty Hall died Saturday at the age of 96. Monty was overheard on his deathbed saying that he would give $50 in cash to any members of the audience who had a resuscitation machine. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I like that one. Okay, that one was decent. George Foreman has challenged Steven Seagal to a fight. This is a true story. Can okay. you believe this? Yeah. We here at the Eastside Dave Show have gotten the latest technology, in fact, computer technology, Roy, to simulate what this match would look like. Look at this groundbreaking yell. There you go. <laughs> I believe that's Seagal in the bottom of your screen and George Foreman up top. And all you gotta do is hit him in the belly. Body blow. Right there, his shorts. Oh, watch out. Body blow. Watch out. Now Body keep blow. in mind, y'all, you can't, can't do it like that. Yeah, what do? Boom, boom, boom. There Body you blow. go. Body bam, blow. bam, bam. Meanwhile, Muhammad Ali's ghost would whip both of their asses. So what are we talking about here? Okay. What the fuck are we talking about? The second biggest tragedy in Las Vegas occurred over the weekend when O.J. Simpson was released from prison. Sources say that O.J.'s first post-prison meal was McDonald's. Ooh, That's a like true that. story. Apparently, the juice ordered a Happy Meal, which came with a cute little toy butcher's knife. Isn't that fun, huh? That's great, right? Right? Toy butcher's knife. Because <laughs> he killed his wife. With he the, killed with his knife. fucking wife. He practically chopped their fucking head off. All right, Bobo. You got a problem with that? No, that's what happened. <laughs> the answer is yes. The answer is yes, I have a problem with murdering your ex-wife. That would be the proper I, I response. I have a problem with it, but you're just calling out what happened. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> Let's just move on. From the no shit files, <laughs> Julia Roberts says she was a selfish little brat. Her words, not mine. As a young actress, yes. Another hard to believe news, Bill Cosby says that as a young comedian, he used to be a rapist. So there you go. Who got hit by fucking music heart attack? I can't take it anymore. Boy, I can't take it anymore. I am not doing well. What's I'm wrong, not man? Gonna lie. What's wrong? Yeah. Everyone's dying. <laughs> How about that for starters? That's How good. about everyone is dying? How about the entire planet? It seems to be dying. Death and fucking shit. 
and all kinds of stuff, and people are going away, and rock legends are, are and Monty Hall, Monty Hall's dead, and of course this man's dead too, and it's making me goddamn bummed. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit depressed tonight, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm, I'm gonna need your help, Roy, which is a really scary thing. In fact, you know what, forget about it. Because <laughs> you've already sabotaged the show. Big A, I'm gonna need your help. Yes. Okay? Yes. Big A, you're a try host tonight. Roy's still yes. the co-host. The bi host. You are bi. Yes. <laughs> you, you definitely are bi. You know that? Hey, Mr. Champion. Fucking nipple pierced weirdo. <laughs> God damn already. All right. But we're gonna try our best. Because it's not a radio show. No. No. It's not a television show. No. Hell no. No. What is it? It's the, the East, East Side, Side Day, Day show. show. Come on, clap for me. You want to clap? Go. Woo. Woo. Like that. Go like. Woo. Woo. Like that. Woo. Like that. Woo. Let me run with you tonight. I'll take you on a moonlight ride. There's someone I used to see, but she don't give a damn to me. All right, here we go. So let's let me get, get to the point. Let's roll another joint. Turn the radio loud. I'm too alone to be proud. You don't know how it feels. Oh, you don't know how it feels to be me. And people grow, some grow cold, some grow cold. I woke up in between a memory and a dream. Yeah. Oh, so let's get to the point, let's roll another joint, let's head down the road somewhere. I gotta go, you don't know how it feels. Yeah, you don't know how it feels to be me, yeah. Roy Hart! Yeah. Come on, man. Let's go, baby! Yeah. We're gonna try and get through tonight this piece of shit planet that we call Earth. I'm almost done with it. I'm getting very close. Very close, okay? And I've got some ideas about how to fix this fucking planet. I do. And that's coming up in the show, okay? Yeah, yeah. Ready, Rock? Here we go. My old man was born to rock. He's still trying to beat the clock, yeah. Think of me what you will. I got a little space to fill, all right. So let's get to the point, let's roll another joint, let's head down the road somewhere. I gotta go, you don't know how it feels, yeah, you don't know how it feels, come on, now. you don't know how it feels to be me. On a day where I actually said I'm, I'm sick, but I won't take off because God forbid the Dave man takes off a fucking day for being legitimately sick. Oh yeah, are you okay. not feeling I that? am sick. Yes, I'm ill today, but I came in because I get the job done, baby. You certainly okay? do, David. And and on a day where I said I'm gonna need some help, you didn't turn your goddamn keyboard <laughs> on. And Garrett's scrolling the fuck. And Garrett, I love. Garrett. I never take shots. But he's scrolling the goddamn teleprompter as if it's like a, of the fucking we didn't start the fire and there's 8,000 goddamn lyrics to the song. I don't know what the hell I'm singing. You take responsibility for that. Can I pass the buck? <laughs> pass it. Pass it to John. Because I can tell you, he got the goddamn Asian eyes thing going. I don't know how much you smoked tonight, John, but I'm assuming all kinds of psychedelic effects are going to be happening today. At some point, I'm sure John's just going to put like a horse head on my actual body. Okay? But we have a wonderful audience. Okay? We have Joseph, we have Ari, Bobo's here, 
co a tried producer, uh, a Big A's here. Flutzy said she would be here. She's Chris a Flutzy. fucking no show. If she shows up late, there it is. He puts a deer. Yeah, he's high. He, you got the wrong goddamn animal, for fuck's sake. I said horse. Sorry, he's talking high. a lot over here, Dave. I'm my best. That's a New York City horse. And I swear to fucking God, if that fucking Puerto Rican woman dares to show up, okay, she'll she'll go in. She'll go, She's going to have to explain herself. And Big A, I want you to read her the fucking riot act. For right. real. Okay. For reals, yo. Right. Right. I want you to read her the goddamn right act. She's texting me left and right about all these ideas she has for tonight's show. And this is like fucking two hours ago. Meanwhile, it's fucking, we're 15 minutes into the goddamn shit show. And where the fuck is Flutzy? Boo! Oh. I want everyone on Twitter at, to, to fucking tweet at her, at Flutzy. Where the fuck you at, bitch? Huh? Where the fuck you at, bitch? And I know that comes across a little aggressive. <laughs> so if you want, just change it to instead of bitch, because that's a little hardcore. Where the fuck you at, slut? <laughs> huh? And, and that's a little aggressive. They're like, well, yeah, where the fuck you at, ho? Huh? You like that? That's much better. A little, a little bit less aggressive. Where the fuck you at, cunt? <laughs> right? You like that? You like that, Roy? Oh, huh? gosh. That gets you hard? <laughs> How's your left uh, nipple uh, nipple doing with the piercing? Is still that pierced. Still doing good? Still um, <laughs> so Tom Petty, <laughs> Nice right? segue, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Petty. Oh, yeah. Fuck, that's a sad one, huh? I, I, I'm not even kidding. Uh, oh, man. I don't even want... I, I, I have nothing to live for. The fucking... Well, actually, the Yankees. The Yankees are on tonight. And uh, at about yes. 8 o'clock, I actually have the ESPN here. And uh, at about 8 o'clock, you're just going to see me tune out of my own show while I keep one eye on the Yankee game. Or if you want to watch the Yankee game or listen, you know, do a little simulcast activity. Oh, I am definitely going to be paying attention to the Yankees much more than Roy Harder. Okay? Okay. Um, uh, maybe I'll watch with you, Dave. God. I've never seen a baseball game. I mean, you, you've <laughs> never... What the hell are you talking well, about, Well, not a full sir? game. <laughs> not a full game. Yeah. No. You're going to watch with me? Sure. Okay, that's I'll make great. the popcorn. Yeah. That's Which, what you what, do, right? What kind of sports do you like? Um, I like um, martial arts mixed. <laughs> <laughs> You're just making shit up on the fly. You've never talked about MMA in your entire life. I just saw Louis you, Gomez. Yeah, you, he just saw Louis Gomez. And he's big into this that is what, shit. This is fucking what Mr. Talented Ripley over here does. <laughs> He sees someone, hey, and he just takes their personality. Yeah. He even told me he took the introduction from Reddit. Yeah. And I'm like, so you're not even creating these? And of no. all the things to steal from Reddit, yeah. quack like a duck, take it up the butt is what you came up with? I started laughing, What dude. the fuck is this? You made me laugh. No. <laughs> and, uh... So, yeah, I mean, you, because you, you, you were never good to, you never played Little League? Did you ever play a Little League baseball? You know, I did for like one season, but yeah. my father, he you're, would you're sit. Would he yell at you about Yeah, baseball? he would sit in the fucking. Strikings the boys yeah. out, Rising! <laughs> Hittings the home runs in Risings! Because your dad's German, right? Yes, yes. And this, this is the kind of like what your dad, sorry, this is a dog. Yeah, not just dad, German, right? but SS yeah. German. Yeah, yeah. Hitting, hitting the base in Borgin! Rounded first and Mason and, and slide into seconds. Head first and slides in Roizen like Pete's and Rosen's. Yes, hits and Kings in. Don't gamble since on baseball since. Or you'll be kept out of the Hall of Fame since. Like Jewel keeps out of Nazi since. Um, so that's your dad. That's what he used to say exactly. to you during. Yeah, yeah, that would be distracting. Yeah, I, that would make me quit baseball. Yeah. <laughs> My dad would uh, sit on the bleachers oh, yeah? for our games, and I would uh, just hear. He wouldn't uh, like give any, you know, overbearing advice, oh, but okay. he would groan loudly. <laughs> And so, like, if it was, uh, you know, one ball, two strikes, and I happened to take... By the way, I hit seven fucking dingers in, in you know, it, when I was 12 oh, congratulations. in that year. And I I, I was the Spring Lake Seagirt fucking Lily League MVP. How about a round of applause for that shit? Okay? And that, my friends, is when I peaked. And it's been downhill ever since. <laughs> yeah. 12 years old. Girls love the Dave, man. Every, everything was smelling roses. What happened? Drugs? <laughs> Alcohol?
Work for me. Real case of herpes. Don't tell anybody about that last part. It's all cleared up now. Valtrex does wonders. Here's this fucking bitch. She's coming in now, right. and I swear <laughs> to comes. fucking God, I'm I'm seeing red. Can I just watch this? And she'll probably like be outside for another ten minutes practicing her flute. Just uh, uh, tell her, someone, tell her just to come in. She doesn't need to do any of the fucking fixings. Come in right now. She ha needs to understand that this is a live program. She does look kind of sexy, though. See, that's the problem. <laughs> the problem about her is that she's wearing ripped fucking pants. And I find this very attractive. What the fuck? What's the problem? What's the fucking problem? <laughs> it's fucking 20 minutes into the show. You will not believe what happened. You wanted to be a fucking producer at one point. You will not believe it, Dave. I'm telling Tell me. You. Tell me, there, smart my guy. Bike. I was riding my bike. Hold on, you're gonna get some music for this. One. And the next thing, <laughs> and the next thing I know, I'm looking at a couple arguing, and it gets ridiculous, right? Okay. So the guy's like, and the girl's like, <laughs> and I'm like, wait, they were retarded people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this that movie with Julia Lewis and the fucking and like, uh, blonde-haired guy from Saving Private Ryan? I'm like, I can't, I can't help you guys, and then they involve me. And I'm like, what do you want from me? I'm on my bike, heading to freaking my show. You and live in like, New York. Don't you know to ignore that crazy shit by well, now? Listen. You don't fucking turn your head. You just keep on going. All right, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> that was a lie? <laughs> what the fuck is she I'll, saying? I'll tell you the okay. truth. My laundry ran over time. I had to pick it up from downstairs. Oh my fucking god. And this whole I was cleaning. goddamn I was bullshit cleaning. about her seeing some sort of abusive couple. I was cleaning. I'm cleaning. cleaning. Way to break Puerto Rican stereotypes. I was cleaning. What, would you have like a duster and a vacuum? I need to clean and... clothes, Dave. I can't, you know. Why would you do laundry today? Today? Um, on a fucking show day. How about saving the laundry for tomorrow? <laughs> show, well, I, I thought I started it early enough. You don't but have I, I'm concept of you. time. I promise you. have no you. concept of time. You're, you're, you're like Stephen this. Hawking. Only way more Puerto Rican. <laughs> and, and that, like, time with you is so fucking relative. It, like, it creates, like, spaghetti people. I don't know if you ever saw A Brief History of Time, but that's what Stephen Hawking said. But I will say I'm very parched. I, I, I made it here. That doesn't help us because you're thirsty? What? what she, she, her excuse is I'm parched. Oh, I'm parched too, David. Well, drink your goddamn little fucking Diet Coke over there. So so you're, no you showed up 20 minutes late because the laundry was too late. That is correct. Oh my god. I'm serious. Negative 3,000 fucking points. Okay, I'm sorry. No, but listen. Big A, Big A. Remember what I told you? Yes. You put your tri producer hat on right now right. and you talk to this person. Because oh. I'm done. Damn I'm it. done. Go ahead. Coming seven twenty, and the show begins at, at seven o'clock. It does. I think it's. Uh, you have like the worst excuse, laundry. But that's the truth. If you don't do laundry, uh, call her a slut. Uh, show day. Call, call her a slut, real quick. <laughs> Come on. I feel you like say like, know. what's your fucking. What's your goddamn problem, you Puerto Rican slut? Okay? This is not gonna get you a date with Curtis Granderson. <laughs> who used to be on the Yankees, and now he's on the fucking shitty Mets. No disrespect, Bobo. I see you there staring at me. He got traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers. He got traded to the Dodgers. That's right. You know what? 12 points for you for being on it. Are you done reading her the right act? Yes. That was more like reading her a love letter than reading her the right act. <laughs> I really wasn't, you know, like, I was looking for some fire. Like, if, if this happens, how about this? If this happens again, what's going to happen to her? Go ahead. You, I'm letting you decide the punishment. What happens to her? This happens again? Yeah. Let's take half her clothes off. Half what? her clothes off? <laughs> I gotta take my clothes he off. He's such a pervert. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing about Big 
gay that I'm not sure if people are that aware of is how much of a sexual deviant this fucking guy is. You are, I love it. Don't get me wrong. You just keep on keeping on. You're such a perverted person. Roy and I were laughing because we were uh, watching uh, the, the Lou Reed song that we played last week. What was it? Uh, Waiting for the Man. Waiting for the Man, yeah. And anytime Flutesy dances, you just see Big A's head turn. And he's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, David. <laughs> I want to rape me some of that. He stares at her with such a fucking creepy goddamn Charles Manson gaze. I love it. I wish you looked at me like that, Big A. <laughs> you want to get raped by Big A? Big gold is what we call them here in the biz. Big gold. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. All right. Well, now that I've had my talking to. Minus 3,000 points for you tonight. But you have to admit. You can't have that. You can't. You, you can't. You, you can't. You, you can't. You have to admit I've been early. There is no fuck. When you have fucked up and it's been as late as you are, it's like it, it, it starts now with you can't be late for the rest of your life. It's not. Well, I, I've been. Uh, I thought I had I've been cushion. early the last two weeks, so I show up 20 minutes late. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> if this was any other show, if this was any fucking job, you'd be fucking fired. I thought I accrued time. No. <laughs> There's no flex time in the East Side, Dave. Oh show. my God. Well, this isn't a this hard. Isn't a union this gig. isn't a hard job. We show up at about six fifty-five. We're on till about eight twenty to eight thirty. <sighs> you need to be at least ten minutes early for the rest of the year, for the rest of two thousand seventeen. Okay. Will you agree with that? Otherwise, there there will be. I I, I, I agree with Big A. There's gonna be some sort of weird. In fact, I'm thinking you're gonna be on my lap if you're late again, and you're gonna get spanked. You're gonna get spanked 42 times in what? honor of Jackie Robinson, who what? segregated baseball. That's a long okay? spanking. He did a lot for fucking black people. You understand me? So that, because of, on behalf of all blacks, yes, you're getting spanked 42 <laughs> fucking times. No, you know what? That's 68 times. Why? Because Martin Luther King was assassinated in 1968. Learn your American history. 68 fucking times you're gonna get spanked by the Dave Man, okay? You got, got a problem with that? Who got murdered in like three years? I don't know. I don't even know what you're oh. saying. Um, I was hoping I, to cut I, I my really time. Uh, I saw that Joe has a bag. Joe. And uh, only because, uh, yeah, Joe, yeah. In, in the audience there. Oh, yeah. And only because um, I'm interested in what's that bag. I guess we should play. Uh, it's time to uh, for questions from the audience. It's one. time to ask questions from the, the audience, audience where they want, want to ask them or not. not. Uh, okay, pass. Bobo, you asked the first question. And then you pass that microphone behind you, okay? What's your first question, Bobo? You're in the audience. Have you figured out who will play the role of Yoda for the Empire, for the East Side Dave show, Empire Strikes Back? Interesting. Interesting question. I'm still um, not sure if we're doing the Empire Strikes Back. I I'm not. I'm not convinced that I'll even do another Star Wars movie in general or a movie at all. Yeah! You heard that, right? No. Or maybe we will. Yay! See? Maybe we will. How we about will. that? Was that answer fucking yeah. vague enough for you? <laughs> Pass that uh, microphone back because this is the, the person I really want to talk to. His name is Joe. He's in the audience. Whether they want to ask them or not. Good evening, Dave. Hello, Joe. I did have a question for you. Yes, sir. Have you ever or do you plan on ever going to Comic Con? Comic Con? Mm. I attended Star Wars Celebration in Orlando this year. I had a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, I would go to Comic-Con, yeah, if uh, certain people were there. Like, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, if Carrie Fisher's there, you know. Uh, oh, God. Oh, no. oh, oh I think Jesus Christ. I forgot. Thanks. So she, I, I think I, that's another one we lost. She might be. Tom Petty, doing her, uh, Carrie yeah. Fisher, Monty Hall. You didn't think that Monty Hall would be uh, that high on my list, did you? you? I'm still going on about the Monty Hall. Let's Make a Deal is in the Dave Man's top five game shows of all time. Really? The list is as follows. Number one, Price is Right. Granddaddy of them all. Doesn't get better than that. And we're B. talking Bob Barker. We're not yeah. talking Drew Carey with all due respect. Number two, Jeopardy. Oh. Okay, yeah. It's a great game show. You play along. You have a lot of fun. Number three, Match Game. 70s. Charles Nelson Riley, Richard Dawson, Gene Rayburn, phenomenal. Number four, Fam 
Family Feud. Oh, that's a good one. That show. The original. I believe that if I competed on Family Feud, I would win everything. I usually am able to get every single answer Family on Family Feud. Feud. That's my game show where I can dominate. I can run the table. I would, maybe we could have one day an Eastside Dave show, yeah! Family Feud. So I'd love to do that, All David. Right? Yeah. Number five, let's make a deal with oh, Monty Hall so. as no the whammies. host. That's press your luck, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Joe. Dave, I also, uh, Joe? So would you give this to Dave? Oh, oh yeah, good. Yes, Order her around, Joe. He just looked at Flutes. He goes, give this to Dave. I respect, I respect it. Look at the... I'm, lo I'm looking at something over here. Boy, oh boy. Oh, Jameson! It, it's weird, but I stopped drinking, except nights where the Yankees play. So yeah, this is gonna come in handy tonight. All right. Thank you, Joseph. I appreciate it. And how about passing that back to Ari? Hold on a second. What about what? me, Joseph? You didn't bring me anything? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, he did bring, he did something bring you heart. something. Look at you. Whoa. You were trying to be a wise guy, and he brought something for you. What'd you bring to Roy? Oh, they're for me also, Roy. Oh, it's a, um, a get-out-of-jail-free card, a uh, DEA PBA card. This is going to come in real handy. Joe, thank you very much. Thank you, Joe. A DEA card? Yeah, that means <laughs> you can do drugs and not Do you have, like, 12 more of these for all of Compound Media? Yeah. It's, do you have at least oh, three I'm for that room in there? Here. For, do, you, do, you, do you have a few for Garrett Hello. and John and Allie? Um, the, thank you, Joe. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Ari? Yes, sir. So, Dave, it's your lucky day. Yes. And you get to fuck a character from the Star Wars universe. <gasps> but oh, my God. It either has to be a Wookiee or an Ewok. Okay. <laughs> very good question, because I've thought about this extensively. I you would, yeah. Um... Because Wookiees are, are are so so tall, I feel like they're sort of like flutesy sized, only with less hair. So I feel like they're to be too intimidating. I'll go with the Ewok. Male right. or female? Gimme Wicket, gimme a male, yeah. Okay, well if it's the Wookiee's gonna look like that, hello, what the fuck? Um, no, uh yeah, I would go Ewok, they're cuddly. Like a teddy bear. They're cute. Yeah, like a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. That's a bizarre conversation. <laughs> My, well, <laughs> thank, well, thank you, gentlemen, and thank you for the gifts. That was questions from the audience. Whether they want to ask them or not, go ahead. Time to ask questions <laughs> from the audience. Whether they want like to ask them or not. not. I am you so never upset. fucked a teddy bear? <laughs> I'm so upset about... Uh, I've never fucked a teddy bear, no. All right, yeah. I've fucked lots of things, though. Okay, yeah. I'm the only guy fucking teddy bears in town. Yes! It's <laughs> the okay. answer! Whatever. See, you, have you ever <laughs> fucked a blow-up doll? Because I did. I Actually, I've never done that. Like, the a quintessential, you know, the one that you see at, like, if some guy's trying to be, like, a douchebag. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the real <laughs> fake, like, the clown yeah, head. The big open and mouth. Real, yeah, the big open mouth. I did. I did. I up. fucked it in, in the mouth, pussy, and ass. Wow. And I cut my dick <laughs> on the ass. And I realized... On the and, final? And I started... I popped the fucking thing. And, I, and I'm like, well, I gotta finish. So I, I, I was just fucking basically a puddle of plastic with blood and cum. It was really a bad scene. It was a bad look for the Dave man. I threw that out. You know, I was living in an apartment. And I threw that out and the next day, and there was like this mom and her daughter and they were just like, can you stay the fuck away from that guy? You stay away from that guy, apartment 7E. Yeah. Look at what he's got in his fucking hands right now. He's on the registered offenders list. <laughs> um, so, so many things. Michael is on the uh, line here. He wants to talk to the East Side Dave show. Mike. Mike. East Side Dave. What's up, Mike? You're on fire today. Thank you, Mike. And your show is wonderful. I love you, Mike. Compliment. You know what? 42 points for you in honor of Jackie Robinson. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can we fire Flutzy and hire her brother? I agree with Flutzy's this. She's great to look at, but her brother has musculature. Yeah, no, he takes his shirt off. He Why has, longer hair. has your brother not been invited back by you? Uh, Was he's it been because? Back, but he works a lot. 
Is that why? Him, yeah, he just, or when that one time he came days. in, he blew the goddamn doors off the place. I know. And, and, and you're <laughs> fearful that he's going to upstage you. Be honest. I mean, he could take his shirt off all he wants. I'm not. No, no. Your brother <laughs> unders. In yeah, he's four crazy. minutes of being on the East Side Dave show, he got our show more than you. And you've been with me since the Davey Max Sports Program. Yeah. The fuck? By the way, that one episode where what? no one showed up, no Roy, no Pepper, no one, but we had St. John's basketball star oh, Felipe, Felipe Lopez, Lopez yeah. co-host. And by the way, I put that entire episode on YouTube. <laughs> Did you and Felipe Lopez exchange numbers? Because I could have seen no, that Instagram. connection. Instagram. What's that? Instagram. You exchanged? Oh, I just followed him on Instagram. Oh, no, but. You didn't exchange phone uh, numbers? No, Please. not that I remember. Okay. Why? I just, I thought I saw a connection there. Uh, I guess <laughs> no. not. I guess not. He's Dominican. Felipe doesn't want to slum it with Flutzy, let's be honest. No, <laughs> no, no offense, all right? I know, Dominicans she don't generally like She shouldn't be offended like by that, right, Bo? Bo. I'm not offended. Right, she, <laughs> <laughs> right but she shouldn't be. <laughs> No one's going to help me tonight. I'm <laughs> here for you, David. You're not. Go to me. Come on. I'm open. Let's go. What's on your mind tonight? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you Crickets. got zilch. Crickets. That's what Mike sounded Nothing. like on the phone. <laughs> Big A's there for me. Holy. She shouldn't be offended, though, right? Should yep. she be offended? No, she shouldn't be offended. Okay. You should be. I should be. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> And then we got Tom Petty. I can't, yeah. let's do a song because right. tonight is a tribute to Tom Petty. And because tonight's show is particularly awful, maybe he'll come back to life. Like, you know, he'll come back to life, barge through the doors and say, stop butchering my music. Maybe that's going to happen. Maybe Tom Petty will rise. <laughs> I hope so. Because we can't be, you know, and another thing real quick, as uh, for me, uh, Tom Petty also, I just remembered, he played one of the greatest uh, Super Bowl halftime shows of all time. He certainly did. And do you know what Super Bowl it was? Uh, 40... I know Bobo knows this. Uh, Bobo, take Roy's points if Roy doesn't get it. Go ahead. Super Bowl 42. Oh. 42. And who was playing, Roy? I'm a fan of the team. I'm going to say the uh, New I'm England Patriots. And the... Uh, holy shit, I'm halfway right, aren't yes. I? Yes. Oh my God! I didn't think I was gonna get this far. And the uh, the Miami Dolphins. I am not a fan of the Dolphins God. nor the Patriots. Damn it! Nor can either team play in the goddamn Super Bowl. They're both in the fucking AFC East for fuck's sake! It's impossible. It's physically impossible for the Dolphins and Pats to be in the Super Bowl. You son of a bitch! All right, Dave. Giants. Oh, the Giants. Remember? Yeah, Tom. Fuck Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah. Anyway, he played that uh, that Super Bowl and. Uh, I think it's a top five uh, fucking Super Bowl of all time. I really do. Really? Uh, who cares? Who cares? We're all going to be dead soon anyway. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow. All right. I like the drum beat. Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. Gonna stand my ground Won't be turned around And I'll keep this world from dragging me down Gonna stand my ground And I won't back down Just one life In a world that keeps on pushing me around But I stand my ground And I won't back down Take it by the wrong order, 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 take it by the wrong order,
Rubbing the temples, <laughs> drinking the whiskey, oh. drinking the whiskey. Yep, it's all right. That actually sounded really good. You know, it kind of, kind of made me no, a little it, sad, it did, though. It, did, it, it did. made me sad. You know, it Tom, did. Tom Petty was one of the few guys that I really am going to miss because he wrote those songs that, you know, you'll hear for the rest of your life and you just, it's always going to remind you of uh, well, something wonderful. This is something. I like the fact that you're actually conversing with me like a human being for a change. Oh, this shit, is I'm, fun. I'm sorry, Dave. No! I'll, I'll shut up. I again. like this. <laughs> I like the fact that for once I wasn't sitting next to fucking musical Rain Man over there. Um, what more? Now you, you, uh, sixty-six. Yeah, six, not even old, dude. I'm practically sixty-six. I know. You, you, you dead. Like in two years, you'll be sixty-six, <laughs> right? Yeah. Because you're pretty old. 40s. I know you fucking lie about your age all the time. How old do you claim to be? 44. Bullshit! <laughs> on fucking rubber biscuits, bullshit! <laughs> right? Yep. He ain't the yeah, Thank you, Bo. Thank you, Bo. Bo! Bo! Yeah. You should you should drop the second Bo off your name. <laughs> and you should you should you should you should have your last name from now on be Nur. <laughs> what and then what would that be? Boner. <laughs> I got ya! I got ya, you motherfucker! I got you to say boner, you son of a bitch! Hiss! Hiss, motherfucker! I'm very excited for the Yankees tonight. And I, uh, again, uh, the game starts at 8 o'clock. And uh, I am uh, thrilled beyond belief. And I just, I hope that, uh, you know, they're inspired. They're calm. They're a young team. Relax, boys. You got this. The Yankees have historically dominated the Twins. Okay. Um, but still, I think that would be a good idea if uh, someone was to give them some words of um, motivation and inspiration. Uh, so uh, he's going to come up to the stage now. His name is Big A, of course, uh, everyone's favorite motivational coach. Big A, you're probably going to need to bring a chair with you. Or Garrett's got one. See, Garrett's nice to you. Your microphone right here, and I am gonna drink half of this bottle of Jameson tonight. No shit. So uh, we thought it would be because you're a big uh, you're a big time Yankee fan, yeah? Yes, I am. You are. Yep. How about a little uh, take me out to the ball game? You know, don't overpower the big A though. Okay. <laughs> Uh, go ahead. Now, you told me you wrote this motivational speech yes, uh, for the Yankees. You, you did. Like the okay. Mr. Champion. You take it away. I don't want to. I don't want to take your spot. The Yankees are back in the playoffs, and we're going all the way. I love it. I guess I'm the only one clapping. <laughs> Come on, everybody. <laughs> Let's see you. You need to clap. Okay, go ahead. I am. When the Yankees win the World Series, I'll be happier than the, 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 the time I got away with triple murder. You'll be, when the Yankees win the World Series, you'll be happier yes. than the time you got away with triple murder? 
What? Yes. What the fuck? Uh, just continue anyway. What's I love Yankees almost as much uh, as the three dozen porn. Um. Um. Porn. Ours. Um. I'm currently talking. You love the Yankees almost as much as the three dozen porn stars uh, yes. that you're currently stalking. Are you yes. sure you want to be saying this on the... This is a motivational speech. Yes. Okay. Yes. I guess, you know, everyone has their own ways, right? I certainly do. You know, Vince Lombardi <laughs> certainly could... Go ahead. Having I mean, Judge probably has a big cock. <laughs> Aaron Judge probably has a big uh, cock. I mean, what the? I don't know that for sure. I'm just uh, uh, guessing. When I look at Judge, one word comes to mind huge cock. Okay. When he looks at Aaron Judge, one word comes to mind huge cock. By the way, yes. that's, that's two words, but go ahead. <laughs> anyway. How talented is Luis Severino? Severino. You're a big guy. Severino. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that god damn illegal alien <laughs> serves a green card for how well um, he's pitched. He Clarify, David? He deserves a, cre a green card. That goddamn illegal alien deserves a green card. <laughs> For how well he's pitched. I mean, as far as motivational speeches go, th you know, this isn't really what I'm used to. But I only got up to high school athletics. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, all right. Go ahead. And uh, Masahiro uh, um, Tanaka, that uh, chap is great. How is he even able to see home play with those? Squinty eyes. <laughs> How is Tanaka able to see home play with those squinty eyes, is what he said. Now it's coming across, you know, not so good. Go ahead. I'm seriously thinking of killing a prostitute tonight. Thinking of killing a prostitute tonight? <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with baseball. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Is um, is the devil uh, strawberry a still on the team? <laughs> that crackhead owes me two hundred dollars. Did you just call Daryl Strawberry a crackhead? Yes. It was you 200 bucks, huh? 200. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Is that, are you done? Nope. No? Nope. Uh, I've, okay. Gary, um, Gary Sanchez is the best um, Yankee catcher since Thurman, um, 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 since Thurman Munson. Hopefully he's a better Airplane uh, pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't laugh at that. Thurman Munson died in an airplane crash. Just go ahead. Can we? Are we? we yes. we're, we're done. No, not yet. No. no. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron judges. Dick is so big. He uses it as a baseball bat. <laughs> Aaron judges. Dick is so big. He uses it as a bat. It's the second time you've mentioned Aaron yes. judges' penis size. Please. Yes. We, we're finished now. Yes. No. Oh. What do me and Babe Ruth have in common? I don't know. We love the whores. <laughs> Both love whores. Yes. But you love killing them. Hey, okay. we're done now? Nope. No. Okay. 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 Ripken is an asshole for breaking Lou Gehrig's. Uh, 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 um, 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 um,
uh, streak. Okay. I hope, ironically, that Ripken gets Lou Gehrig disease. <laughs> ironic. That would be ironic. It's very ironic. ironic. Cal Ripken got Lou Gehrig's disease after breaking the Iron Horse's streak. I mean, Big A's right about that. That would be very ironic. Okay, please, let's. We're, we're done now, yeah? No. No? Reach out, brother. Almost. Almost, okay. Um, I suffocated my neighbor yesterday. What now? Suffocated. Okay. We're, we're done, Big A? Ever? No? no? Nope. And, and if Roy Harder doesn't watch out, I'm going to cave in his head. With my Mickey Mantle bat. <laughs> <laughs> my head? He's gonna cave you in. Cave your head in like his fucking De Niro in The Untouchables. <laughs> and I, for one, will be smiling my ass off. Lighting a cigar if that happens. <laughs> you gotta catch me first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're finished. Big no. A. No! Well, Dave has no idea. But I plan on decapitating his head next week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I decapitating my head? Okay. Finished? No. No! No. Lord say. Go ahead. The only thing bigger than Aaron Judge's penis is Lucy's hot ass. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing bigger than Aaron Judge's penis is Flutie's hot ass, I believe is. I'll take it. What he said there. Not bad. Okay. Good. Nope. Go. Oh. <laughs> I love to. I mean, what kind of motivational speech is this? I love to. Think about it, but anyway, go ahead. I love. I love to. Um, shove my Louis Phil. I'm a, a slugger into. <laughs> it's flutzy. <laughs> Except I'd have to duct tape her mouth first. <laughs> she talked too much. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, he he what? To, he'd love what? to shove his Louisville slugger into you, but he'd have to duct tape your mouth first because you talk too much. Okay, let's go. In some nation. Let's go, Yankees. Fuck the shit out of the twins. Big A, everyone. Big A. Damn it. Yeah. Big A. Big go. Well, I'm sure after the Yankees heard that, they're going to destroy the Minnesota Twins. Either that or they'll get fucking clobbered tonight. Um,. Flutzy, you said you did you want to do your stand up? You said you wanted a chance to uh, to redeem yourself from last week. You oh. texted me earlier today that you wanted to redeem yourself. Well, I have a I have a couple of a uh, couple Flutzy, of things here. That's what I'm asking yeah, you to do. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, you weren't sure, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> She is the worst at times. She can hear Let you. Let me dude. explain something to you. I'm okay? here. You just go with shit. I'm going with it. I'm you here, aren't I? So fucking combative can and. You please and just introduce me. Baitful. Like Ladies a and gentlemen, uh, Flutzy, the over-explaining comedian. Okay. Yeah. Hello. So I'm gonna start with a joke about Roy. Okay. About Roy. About Roy. I like that. Why did Roy cross the road? I don't know. To get his meth. Because he's too high and forgot he already crossed. <laughs> well, not so bad. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> what? What do you call? Didn't, you didn't explain anything. Well, it's self-explanatory. He's always fucking high. Oh. Time out. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> what did I text you? Remember well, I texted you? Because he's high. On he's the high and has to cross the road because he's high. Concentrate on the explaining. He's high and crosses the road because he's high. Why do you fuck up your own bits? No, that's you what know, it are is. You purposely trying. I. She literally says, Number two. Do, do you want me to do jokes? <laughs> I go, the bit is not about the joke. It's about the explanations. And? She can't do it. Go what ahead. do you call Stevie Lou and a girl having sex? Uh-oh, don't. Ooh, you're, Stevie Lou's going to murder us all. A miracle. I don't get I love it. you, Stevie. That's She's calling him ugly. That's flutes. No, I, I just call it like Come I see on, it. Fucking barge in here. 
any goddamn and, second. And throw the desk over, I know. Jesus Christ. All right, all right, all right. Why, all right. why would you say that about Stevie? Well, since you're forgetting that you're supposed to be explaining the jokes. Yeah, I did. I mean, really, have you looked at Stevie? Oh. This is very uncomfortable. I love you, Stevie. Go ahead, go ahead, please. What's long and hard and has come in it? <laughs> you would know this one, Dave. Me? <laughs> Davey Mac? A cucumber! Come. Oh. Ah! Because it has C-U-M in the word. Okay. okay. Do you get it now? Okay. Do we have our special <laughs> guest to, uh, no, we don't have our special guest. All right, guest. all right, all right. I got it. I don't blame him. Why do dwarfs <laughs> laugh <laughs> when they play soccer? Okay, why? Because the grass tickles their balls. Okay. How about this? Grab Isn't that your funny? Flute, grab you. you. Not only did you not redeem yourself, this is officially. Don't worry, Eastside Dave <laughs> right, Show right, fans. Right, I got it. This is officially the last time she'll right. try her hand at stand up this comedy. Is, this is the last time. You have my word. This is the last She's joke. She's horrible. I know. I get it. She's nice to look at. I understand. This is the last joke. Yes. What does a 75 year old woman have between her breasts that a 25 year old woman doesn't? What? Her navel. Okay, okay, well, you get the... Because they sag. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Because you're old and... Get the flute. I mean, if you have double D tits. <laughs> get get the if you have a beef... Could you get the... Up. Big A, bring the flute up to her. They probably won't and sag that much. paper so she doesn't have to get up. <laughs> Please. And, and she gets up anyway. Like, it's... Well, Big A wasn't helping her out, was he? He was. He was coming up. Oh, oh, he was getting up. Okay, sorry, sorry, Big A. My bad. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. I'd like to thank you for... You know, why don't you give me a call? during the week sometime and we'll we'll go over some of these things dave yeah. man's there for you dave man's there for you i know you are dave <laughs> and every day i wake up don't I think about you this. don't have to improv flutzy just don't uh let's leave play. the improv to me <laughs> let's play puerto rican woman plays the flute okay please well you'll be quite happy there's one thing r2d2 is blocking you there's one thing that you're good at though i will say this uh, besides the hot ass, you are talented at playing the flute, and let's hear uh, what you have prepared for us tonight. It's the Flutesy game, 877-962-6846. If you call in and guess the song that the crazy Puerto Rican woman who plays the flute is playing, you get a prize. Okay, and that prize may come in the form of a t-shirt, and it may, and you'll get a chance to change your Twitter profile. Do what, David? To the East Side Dave Show champion, October 3rd. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, madam. Ooh, I love this. Yeah. yeah. All right. You know what? I know this one. Do you really? I know it. I don't. And for once, she has done something well. For once in her fucking miserable goddamn life. Well, the very I fact told that you said I'd that, make I it up to you. I know what it is. I, I actually know it now. Uh, we're going to need uh, the name. We're, we're going to need, you know, some specifics okay. are involved in guessing this uh, song. But uh, you should be able to get it. You played it well. I'll give you that. 877-962-6846. I did enjoy it. Could you play it again? Because I, I actually rather like it. Um, so that's good. 877-962-6846. Do you know the song, Roy? I actually have no idea. You have no idea? <laughs> I, I can guess the, the director, though. Interesting. Uh, Bobo, do you know it? I know it. Bo? Bo, uh, what's your last name? Nur, right? <laughs> yup. <laughs> Say I, it. I, I, yup. B boner. <laughs> <laughs> I got him! I got him again, Roy! <laughs> Roy's and I got the bonesons! 
Um, okay, Brady is calling in from Colorado. He wants to guess. Dude. How are you? I am doing fantastically. I really am. Great. Good to hear you. Uh, it's that shitty song from that shitty Star Wars movie, I think. You're close. Oh. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need it oh. a little more specific, but you're on the right track. I'll say that. Does All right. Brady deserve? Hold on. What? Guys. Hold on. What? Brady? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I don't have anything else. Uh, no, I mean, can you guess? How about the episode? Could you guess the episode for me? That's all I'm asking. Uh, I don't know. Three. <laughs> I like this guy. Technically, I don't like this guy. they played the song once in episode three. So on a tech, even though it's from episode two, really, mm -hmm. on a technicality, Brady's a winner! Brady's a winner! Brady's a winner! Brady! Everybody loves that Brady! I'm gonna fuck the shit out of Brady! I'm gonna fuck that shit out of Brady! Hey, All right, no. um... Brady, uh, put a, put yourself on hold. Uh, Garrett, we'll get to you. Would you like a shirt? Ooh, yes, I'd love one. He'd love a shirt, Garrett. So, uh, Brady, congratulations. And make sure, Brady, you change your Twitter profile to October 3rd, 2017, Eastside Dave Show champion. Brady's a winner. Brady's a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Right, You're still smoking you. these cigarettes, huh? Thank you. Well, that was... Uh, that was an odd thing. So uh, it is actually technically from episode two. The name of the song is Across the Stars, one of John Williams' most beautiful compositions, if you ask me. I loved it. Uh, sort of the uh, love composition between Anakin Skywalker and Padme. Padme, okay? Interspecies love thing going on. Huh? Um, interspecies love. Uh, special guest, no? The sp Flutie, get back up here. I didn't oh. say you could leave. I thought I was done. Put a little hop to it, please. Please, we're live. We're live. Thank you, sweetheart. Do some jumping jacks, too, if you want. No, no? I went to the gym today. Okay. You, you did not go to the gym? I did. Oh, okay. I'm all gymmed out. Do the same. Make sure you, you keep going to the gym. Got to keep that body in check, because that's the main thing you bring to the table on the Eastside Dave show. That is... Is tits and ass. Not true. Tits and ass, Roy. With the flute. Oh, I have no tits, though. How does that work? They, you know, I mean, is, it, is a guy allowed to compliment a woman's breasts, or is that demeaning? I'm just, yeah, why not? Then your fucking titties look nice tonight. They do? So, and for a second, I was thinking about touching them. Would that be over the line? Eh. Like if I just grabbed, not grabbed, but just kind of delicately massaged the left one. Would that be over the line? The left one is more sensitive than the right. Okay, what well, if I uh, massage the right one? Would it be over the line? I yes think the no? right doesn't want to be bothered. Okay. That's all. All you have to do is say no. That's all you have to do. Uh, what does Bo say? I know. I mean, dude, by the way, you're not saying no. I saw her mind. So it's like, I'm going to do it. Do you know who you're sitting next to? I'd strongly suggest you just say, no, keep your fucking hands off my tits. No, keep your fucking hands yeah, but off like, my tits. Why wouldn't you just say that? You were, we're interacting Because I like to humans. be polite. As a human. It's not, it's not, okay, okay. Anyway. Except when I'm not. Um, we have a special guest that is the, uh, here. He is Skyping in to uh, judge your comedy. Okay, yeah. Oh. He's a well-renowned stand-up comedian. He's playing all over New York City. He's a gigantic star. Is he here, ladies and gentlemen? What's Stevie Lou! Stevie, Stevie Lou, where are you? What's new you? Stevie Lou. I love the song. Okay. Uh, all right, Stevie. I don't. Did you see her set? <laughs> I actually did. Yeah, I was coming home and uh, I was coming home from a set I myself. Love it. Uh, so yeah, I got to catch that garbage. Jesus! Oh, I, love I love it. it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, let me tell you though. I gotta say one thing. Uh, Flutzy. Yes, my love. You dream it. I do it. Oh. Stevie is shutting me, her down, and I love it. Let me know. The next oh, STD you get. Nice. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, 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 man. Oh, oh, sure, sure, sure. Listen, uh -oh. I gotta tell you, you did have something going on there. I think that with a little bit of work <laughs> and a little bit of work on that Puerto Rican ass of yours, we might have something going on it's here. Deflating. Oh! It's deflating. Maybe he's crushing you. He is. He's yes. Oh. 
Stevie looks I like he's notice. crushing a few things. Huh? Stevie, I love it. <laughs> Stevie's all hey, is, that Roy, is that Roy Harder over there? That's me, That's Stevie. Roy, Stevie. Hey, as the commissioner of the East Side Dave Show, That's I wanted right. to proclaim that Roy Harder is now the official Grandmaster Nazi of the East Side Dave Show. Yeah! Stevie somehow was designated the Eastside Dave Show Commissioner. No, yeah. don't know how it happened, but it happened. Which is that job um, pay, Stevie? Stevie uh, Fruity <laughs> showed up 20 fucking minutes uh, late tonight, and she, for some reason, wanted, was, thinks that she wants to be the producer. <laughs> And you Whoa. talk to her because everyone knows. Wow. Yeah. I have not said a word. Okay, about so being I think producer. I have to make a ruling on that, don't I? Yeah, please, because you are the commissioner of the East Side okay. Dave Show. Yes. Do it. Rootsy, you listening? I'm listening. No fucking way, no fucking how, <laughs> sister. <laughs> you still got it, Stevie. You got it, Stevie. <laughs> he shut you down. He shut your Puerto hey, Rican ass down. I gotta down. say, man. With a little bit of work, though, I think she may be onto something. She's got a little bit of spark, but she's got to work on her material. She's got to write stuff. you got to lay off so. those cigarettes, though. Your teeth are looking a little yellow. I'm just oh, saying. Oh, hey, hey, wait a second. That's the commissioner you're talking about, for it, crying out loud. Is it? Yeah, that's just yeah, rude. Yeah, my teeth are yellow from all the pussy that I'm eating. <laughs> yeah. What kind of fucking vagina? He's dominating. You got it. Yeah, lick it. Lick it, Stay. Stay lick it. Look, he crushed you tonight. I'd rather hey guys, not, he crushed you. I'd rather not get my. I gotta tell you, I, I got a few things going on since uh, I left you guys over at the compound. I've still been working on my comedy. Give I've us been a plug. A few secret projects that I can't tell just yet, but Give within a... a week, I got week or two. I got one that's about to launch. Oh! So I'll be back in touch when that happens, and then tell I got another it. secret, super secret project. It's just kind of percolating right now. Yeah. Excellent. So, uh, percolating. What about percolating. comedy clubs? Anything? I'm, I'm actually over at Dangerfields Danger next Field. week after your show. So if folks are watching the East Side Dave show on Tuesday and they want to walk over to Dangerfields at 9 o'clock, 9.30, I'll be there. Boom. Headlining. <laughs> no, I'm not headlining. I'm no, just kidding. Boom. Yes, <laughs> you up? are. You are the fucking don't star. Yourself I don't care who else is on the bill. They go before you. After you <laughs> shut her down... You are the star. He shut you down. You have to admit that. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's okay, though. He's great at fighting. Yes, he did. He did. End of segment. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate Stevie, the time. I love to see you guys. Congrats. So. And we, we do the Star Wars. Chewy, we're going to figure a way to get you in. Even if we have to put you in an actual Chewbacca costume, yeah. you just don't tell anyone that it's Stevie Lou gargles. wearing the fucking outfit, okay? We'll figure something out, Dave. I right. love you guys. Stevie Lou, everybody! Oh, thank you. Dave Show Commission! Stevie Lou! Alright, thank you, Flutie. Flutie, everyone! Flutie! Hi, Stevie! Flutie, everyone! Oh, wonderful. Oh, I love Stevie. What a job she did, huh? This guy, oh, yeah. Of course, she always does uh, a great job. Boy, we have a sponsor! do thank you to deepdiscount.com for sponsoring the show today check it out go buy stuff their prices are great their selection enormous and you don't just rent their stuff you own it please click the deep discount logo on our site check out all the sales ton of great movies from classics to the obscure how much time do you waste searching for something to watch and if you're lucky enough to find something good it's edited or a crappy version instead go to deepdiscount.com find the movie you want to watch buy it for a really great price and have it on hand forever whenever you want the name says it all at deepdiscount.com everything is deeply discounted and not just old titles baby this week the newly released house of cards season five is on sale that's right just click on their logo found on our website start saving money stop wasting time searching and searching for something to stream only to find out it's been cut the quality is awful, or worse, not finding anything to watch. Find your favorites at deepdiscount.com. Buy it. Own it. Watch what you want when you want. Check it out now. Thank you, Deep Discount. Yeah! Woo! Another Tom Petty. Another Tom Petty song, please. Has the Yankee game started yet? No. No Yankee game? This one goes out to Mr. Tom Petty, baby. We'll start it out.
down dirty road Started out All alone And the sun went down As I crossed the hill And the town lit up The world got still I'm learning to fly But ain't got wings Coming down Is the hardest thing For the good old days May not return And the rocks might melt And the sea may burn I'm learning to fly But I ain't got wings Coming down The hardest thing <laughs> Some say life Will beat you down Break your heart Steal your crown so I started out For God knows where I guess I'll know When I get there I'm learning to fly Learning to fly Around the clouds Learning to fly What goes up Learning to fly Must come down I'm learning to fly, learning to fly, but ain't got wings, ain't got wings. Coming down is the hardest thing. Yeah! There you go. All right. That was a good one. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take I, it. I, our endings are awesome. You still haven't figured out how to properly end a song. Not, huh? not with this. With this uh, not with that no, little rinky-dink uh, setup over there, yeah, huh? No, shock jock robot playing the drums. No, it was good. Not it was good. Right? What can you do? We're all depressed over the Tom Petty. I mean, I, I don't know what to do over here. Um, I knew. Uh, what's that? Thank you. It's gonna be weird knowing, uh, knowing, living in a world without Tom Petty. Right. Wait, hold on. Is are you mocking the fact that I'm I'm depressed about Tom Petty? No, I said I knew. Oh, she's in agreement. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. I mean, everyone's that in agreement. That means I agree. Oh, yeah. yeah? Are you a Tom Petty fan? I didn't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I like him. I'm not sitting in my backyard, like, smoking a joint, listening to his music. But, <laughs> that's that's know, my I'm department. Like, I that's like what him. everyone does, so <laughs> you're not a fan. Yeah. If you don't do that, if he's I'm not saying you have to be high to listen to Tom Petty. I always put Tom but, Petty up there with, like, a guy like Willie Nelson. He's just one of those musicians yeah. that you feel like you know him. Keith Richards said the, the mark of a true musician yeah. is to write great songs with as little uh, notes as possible. He, oh, yeah. may, he One time John Popper had the fucking balls oh, yeah. to ask uh, Keith Richards if he could play on a Rolling Stones song. He played harmonica. Yeah. And Keith Richards flat out said, I don't like how you play the, uh, the harmonica. You play too many fucking notes, fat boy. That's a true story. Yeah, I mean, except for the fat boy comment. Um, so, so Tom Petty's a perfect example of someone keeps it basic and yet hit after hit after hit. How does he do it? I don't fucking know, bro. Okay, I don't fucking know. He's got that talent. Luis Severino has taken the mound for the Yankees, by the way. So I'm very excited for this. I, I, I am putting all my eggs into the Yankee basket because God knows the motherfucking New York football giants are fucking killing me. 0-4? Motherfuckers? I was all over my morning radio show. Yeah. WR18959 The Rat, where I am number one in the ratings, bro. Hello, how about some round of applause, you motherfuckers? John, give them that sign, these fucking brain dead freaks. And, um, uh, I'm, I'm all the, I'm making bets with people. I, I'm guaranteeing that not only do the Giants make the playoffs, yeah. but that they probably will win the Super Bowl this year. That's what I said. They're 0 4. 
They lose to the Eagles on a 61-yard field goal. They follow that up with another blown lead and a fucking uh, a field goal with no time on the goddamn clock to, to, to the, the fucking uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And they're 0-4. I, I want to show you a picture okay. of what the Yankees have done, not just to me, but to my dear son, Stanley. Because this is a true... A uh, photograph of us after the game when the Giants had just lost and blown and had a devastating loss. I want you to look at that child. New York football Giants, that's what you're doing to the youth of America. You're traumatizing them. Look at that fucking kid. I wish I could tell you that that shot was posed. It wasn't. I, I knew that they were going to lose the game on a fucking field goal, so I had the camera ready. And I said, if this fucking... And look at that boy. Look at him. Look at my dear son, Stanley Mac. He's traumatized. It's like he's seen his daddy get run over by a fucking bus. That kid. And I feel guilt. I feel guilt of what I've done to Stanley. Because while I've always sat him in front of the TV for Giants game, yeah. I can tell this year he's really getting sports. He's getting football. He's eight. He's getting it all. Yeah. And I remember, I think that's when, like, if I was seven or eight when I was really, I started to understand everything. And I cared and I knew about it. And the kid's heart is getting ripped out. That kid belongs in fucking poltergeist with the fucking eyes bugging out. That's a true blue picture. Why have you done that to us, Giants? Oh. Oh my God, the fucking... Don't tell me that the Minnesota Twins just hit a fucking leadoff home run. Oh, God damn it. I'm saying that the fuck... I'm putting all my eggs into the Yankees' basket. And now... An at the top of the zone. And Dozier absolutely Oh, fuck me, it. a leadoff home it's run. to his legs. I, I can't do out. this. I almost can't do this. He almost hits people in the stands center. with that fucking ball, huh? Yes, that's fucking dangerous, the, huh? It was a home run, and people sit out in the stands, Roy. That's how Dozier baseball works. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta watch out, though. That was a fucking... Yeah, yeah you don't there. have to. Well, you have to watch out for those uh, line drive uh, foul ball types. Great. So now the Yankees are down 1-0, and uh, this guy fucking pops up, and, there's, uh, and he's got it, and he falls down. Down. Is he all right? Is that is he all right? fucking Frazier? Yeah, that's Dave, Todd Frazier. Yes. Do you have the express written consent of the Major League Baseball? I don't. So uh, we count this game. Yeah, I hope we don't get sued by baseball. <laughs> I got it, Garrett. Don't worry about <laughs> yeah. it. Okay, cool. Yeah, Bobo, come up here. I think this is finally our opportunity to do something of substance. Maybe you and me should call the Yankees game real quick. All right, here. Here, here we go. Ready? All right, and go. We're going to and go. Thanks, Roy. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to call the game. I think I'll take the play-by-play uh, oh. -play, uh, duty, and you'll. Uh, here's the uh, oh oh pitch from Severino, uh, a little bit outside. Bubba, what's going on? Early thoughts about the Yankees giving up a leadoff home run here early on. Well, this game is still early in the game, and uh, that that low score. They this guy, this pitcher, has to has to. Limit the damage. Keep keep them in the game. Some interesting points. Clearly, my uh, color commentator is on mushrooms. Two <laughs> balls, zero strikes, one out. Luis Severino trying to calm down after giving up that leadoff home run to Dozier of the Minnesota Twins. Here's the 2-0 pitch. A little bit outside. 3-0. Bobo, thoughts? Let's see. He's, he's also got to limit the base runners here in this game. Can't, full ball, can't throw... Too many pitches this this early, and that that's also taking him out out of the game too early if he's uh, throwing too many pitches. That's fantastic analyst uh, analysis, Bubbo. I have no idea what you said. 3-0 pitch, and he gets that one in for a strike. Three one. Severino looks a little bit nervous, doesn't he, Bo? Yeah, he looks a little nervous. This is this is a you're looking at a first timer that's been never pitched in a playoff <laughs> pitching in the biggest game of his life. Now, 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 real quick, uh, Bo, uh, <laughs> if someone wanted to change your last name to Nur, uh, what exactly would your name be, please? That would be Boner. <laughs> Boner. Your <laughs> name got, would be Boner. You got me again. Yeah, Dave. I got you again, did I, Bo? You got me again. Dave. I got you, Bo. Now, Bo, would you be offended if I asked Luis Severino to take a fastball and throw it right at your head and just split your goddamn skull open with a 98-mile-an-hour <laughs> fastball? Would, would you be upset by that? Would that be upsetting to you? 
That would be one heck of a throwing arm if he could throw it all the way into the broadcast booth. But Yankee I would Stadium's not be on their feet. 3-2 pitch from Severino. <laughs> and that's a foul ball. Bo, would you be upset if Aaron Judge took uh, the uh, handle of his bat and stuck it into your dick hole? Would that, would that be uh, bothersome to you? I would not be offended at all. You wouldn't be offended by that? No, nope, I would not be, be offended. But would you be in pain, Bo? They would be hearing me in my 3-2 pitch from Severino. <laughs> Here it comes, and that looks like a ball, and the umpire says he did not go around, so it's going to be a walk. The first base. Bo, let me ask you a question here. How many farm animals have you fucked in your life? I've never <laughs> fucked a farm animal. Severino looks a little out of sorts early on, Bo. He is a young pitcher. He's an ace. He made the All-Star game this year. Let me ask you something. Do you mind if I rape your mom? No, I don't mind. I would not be offended. Even with all the health problems? I mean, it seems a little yes. bit crazy that you wouldn't be offended that I, if I uh, sexually forced myself onto your mother. I, I have to tell you. I would not be offended, and the EMT is on speed dial. Here comes Severino with the <laughs> oh oh bitch, and he is high. He is not on the strike zone tonight, Bo. He is a little bit wild as the uh, Yankees. He's got to be feeling the nerves, doesn't he, Bo? Yeah, he's got to be feeling the nerves today. You mind if I uh, uh, see that hot sister of yours and uh, take some photographs of her on the toilet and then sell them to Roy for a $50 a picture? Would you mind that? You mind if I do that? Larry Rothschild, the Yankees pitching coach, is out to the mound. He's going to try and calm the youngster down. You mind if I suck your dick, Bo? Would you mind that? While uh, we would, have, yeah. I would not mind that at all. Larry Rothschild <laughs> doesn't even speak Spanish. So what could he possibly be telling Luis Severino? Is he what you would call a wetback, Bo? Is that what he is? Because he is not from America. Uh, Should we be I, building a wall against Luis Severino? Well, basically, he, is my point. He, he isn't Mexican. I believe he's Dominican, if I'm correct. Correct. He is definitely uh, Dominican. But I say we build a wall around all Latino peoples. I mean, don't 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 you think that it's uh, that, it's time that America got white again? Don't that, you think so? That would be one big of a wall that would have capacity over crowd on hand here at Yankee Stadium. There's at least fifty thousand <laughs> Yankee fans. Looking good, looking sharp. Nerves a flutter, though, as the Yankees find themselves trailing 1-0 as Severino looks to be a little wild throw over the first base. Runner gets back in time. Very, very precarious situation for Severino. Can't afford to be getting behind too early. Uh, Bo, you mind if I shoot you in the head tomorrow? I mean, you know, and, and then I'll put it on YouTube and be like, hey, everybody, look at this uh, awesome video of me uh, shooting Bo I in the would head. not be offended. <laughs> You buy that? You would, would, would you buy that? You wouldn't be offended by that, Bo? No, wouldn't be offended. Excellent. Very, very nice. Give us some, uh, and what's your experience here as the uh, color commentator? Anything? Anything 1-1 one, one pitch from Severino? He throws over the first base back in time. This is the first, first time color commentating. This is your first time, so your experience is jack and shit. Yep. You have zero experience. Yep. You're about as unqualified for this position as Flutzy is to do stand-up comedy, isn't it? 1-1 one, one pitch, and that slapped hard to right field. Oh, my fucking God. It's a two-run home run, and I can't have this. I can't fucking have this! No! This was not supposed to happen! Damn. I'm not very stable tonight, am I, Bo? It's probably the Jamesons. In fact, if anything, I should probably be drinking more because this looks like it could be a rough night for the Yankees. Uh, is this game over, Bo? Well, right now, the momentum has been taken out of the ballpark. Would you be uh, offended if I uh, handcuffed you uh, to a lamppost and uh, me, uh, Derek Jeter, and Bernie Williams did uh, finger cuffs on you? Would you mind that? I would, would that not be, be offended. Yeah. 3-0, Yankees trail early as Luis Severino is having a disastrous first inning to his postseason career. This is the Yankees' young ace, and clearly the Yankees are going down tonight. Let's be honest here. Davy yep. Mack's life is in ruins. Tom <laughs> Petty's dead. Monty Hall died. How about that, Bo, huh? Let's make it. Joe Girardi looks like someone yep. shot his dog. Look at that guy. Holy shit. This, I don't like the way this feels, though. There's a base hit. Please take him the fuck out of the game, Joe! This is a fucking wild card game! 
Get Sonny Gray in there immediately. Am I right, Bo? Yup, am I right? He needs to, <laughs> he needs to get him in the game immediately. <laughs> what is this, Pete and repeat over here? For Christ's sakes, I said, am I right? You don't say, am I right, when I say, am I right? We can't both be saying, am I right? You're you understand? Right. I understand. We're auditioning for the Yes Network, Bo, okay? All We're right. gonna kick Michael K out of a fucking job. You, you got me? Yup, I got you. Man on first base, Severino deals in, and he is very, very nervous. This is not good. All right. Well, let's let's just wrap it up. Let's just fuck around. <laughs> Thank you, Bo. Thank you. You can even sit here with me. I don't even give a fuck at this point anymore. Let's just wrap it up, Roy. All right? You ready to wrap it up, babe? Always ready, baby. I got to get home, and I got to watch the Yankees get probably annihilated. 17-0 to zero will be the final score. I shouldn't say that. Plenty of time. Lo siento. They haven't even gotten up to the plate yet. Lo siento, papi, I know. <laughs> All right, It'll Roy, be ready? Okay. Yeah, let's do it, Dave. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Ain't got the blues, ain't got time for bad news. Cause damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. From Long Island to West LA. No need to worry, cause I ain't in no hurry. Damn, it's been a real fine day. There's a whole lot of trouble out in this world, yeah, whole lot of worry, whole lot of worry. Now that I had you come into my life, there's a whole lot of reason to say. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Damn, it's been a real fine day. Got all my new shoes, ain't no way we're gonna lose. Cause damn, it's been a real fine day. Happy to be alive at the end of the line. And 
It don't matter if you're by my side. The end of the line. I'm satisfied. Yeah, it's all right. Even if you're old and gray, well, it's all right. You still got something to say. Well, it's all right. Remember to live and let live. Well, it's all right. The best you can do is forgive. Well, it's all right. Hey, riding around in the breeze. Well, it's all right. If you live the life you please. Well, it's